Hey there, it's you home. And this is the triumphant return of uh, the car cast, I suppose. Um, it's been a while. Um, I've changed cars, changed gears, um, changed a lot of things uh, recently. But what hasn't changed is, of course, uh, the focus on, on copy in business, in e-commerce, in info business, in all kinds of businesses. And I have a few fire things to say, so <laughs> there'll be a few things. Anyway, um, one of the things that has stuck to me uh, lately is is how sort of how should I put this? Um, there's entrepreneurs and even large companies who treat their copy as you know one-offs, and that just doesn't work because. Um, Okay, you know, the word copy itself, I, I guess that you could say that it implies that you're going to be able to reuse some stuff. Mostly, I mean, of course, let, let's go, let me put it this way. Let's go back to the, uh, the wisdom of the swipe file. Uh, that in your industry, you, you collect, constantly collect ads that are working, clearly working, and uh, you make notes and uh, you just collect a library of copy that works and then you find ways to, to actually creatively use them in your business, in, in your uh, industry and all of that. So, but the mistake I see people doing is they just don't keep track of even, uh, even their own winners. And uh, might be because there are some losers as well, I don't know. But the fact that there are companies just starting from scratch every time they do a promotion doesn't make any sense to me because what you could be doing is building a real sort of a bank vault of copy that works for you, works for your uh, target markets and uh, that's really uh, actually kind of, kind of the, uh, the thing that I've been working on a lot. Uh, with some of, my, some of my best clients lately and the results are astounding when you really start to compound the power of uh, uh, copy that has worked for you in, in various campaigns you know you make a note of uh, you know a few things um, you categorize of course you know here's the copy snippets for, for the brand here's something for quality here's for category X Y and Z um, but also, you know, when you ran this copy, uh, which channels did you run it in? Uh, which worked? Which bombed? Uh, which kind of worked? Uh, which look that that it might work? You know, you you got to keep track of a lot of things um, as you do your promotions, as you do your campaigns, because there's so many moving parts, and it's not just well the copy works or it doesn't. So in in the real world. Uh, you need to uh, build a copy bank, <laughs> copy vault, uh, first of all, and uh, and actually use it and reuse it and rebuild it on a regular basis and keep track of it. You know, how does it work and who does it work for and, and where does it not work? Because uh, let me tell you, you're going to, if you don't do that, uh, you're going to just... Uh, you're going to be constantly behind and you're going to be late with your campaigns and you're going to be putting together promotions that are half-baked and then you keep wondering why it doesn't work so just a quick tip for you uh, there's a there's a lot to say about that single topic <laughs> uh, by itself but um, anyway I'm I hope you're having a good day um, I just got done uh, doing my morning paper I just drove to, to one of my favorite morning spots in, in the dark and just uh, spent the time, 45 minutes, just opening up the uh, the valves, so to speak. I highly recommend that habit, by the way. Um, the rest of the day will go so much more smoothly. You, you get the gunk out of your head and you get some gems out and then you, uh, then you just go for it. All right. That's uh, CarCast done. Uh, there'll be a lot more. See you soon.